All right, guys, let's fix this incorrect number of slots we have here. So let's select the surface and create a sketch. Now let's grab our two point rectangle to kind of outline a uh, rectangle over the over all of the slots. So once we have that, we can right click and hit OK. And let's just select all of this area and let's right click, press pull. And let's just click the back surface and change it from cut to join. Now that gets rid of all the slots. Now let's go back to the front area and reselect this area so we can create a sketch once again. And now let's grab, let's turn on our reference so we can see this a bit better. I don't know how I uh, didn't see this earlier, but let's go down to create and let's grab our slot, center to center slot, and let's start somewhere around here. And notice the, the first uh, slot is actually smaller than the rest. So we have to keep that in mind. So this looks fine for this. Let's right click, hit OK, and let's double click this selected and let's says Control C, Control V to dupe that. Now, once we copy this over, we'll make some slight adjustments to better match the reference. Let's pull this up, pull this down. Now let's Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And we'll just uh, keep duplicating this down the line and we can easily just uh, pattern this but I prefer to do it this way so it's more precise and since we're going to be mirroring this we only want this down the middle now we can select these uh, profiles here so we can press pull them to the back side so let's right click press pull now let's select the back change from cut to new body now we're going to go to combine so select that and we'll just combine it with these slots we just cut out and change it from join to cut, hit OK, and there you go. Now let's go to fill it, and I want to just round off all these harsh edges here from the slots. Grab all these. Pull this down to something like this. That looks fine. Let's hit OK. And I think it's a good time to fix this uh, blackout ring we have here at the bottom. So we'll select this surface again and we'll grab our two point rectangle tool and we'll just draw a rectangle uh, horizontally. So from around here to here. And like we did with the slots, we'll right click and press pull the surface. So we'll grab this point, press pull, and we'll just select the back face. And that'll uh, close that out. Now let's hit F to fill it. And we're just going to round this off. Both of these, the headlights and also the blackout lights. Now let's start creating the blackout. So we'll select the surface behind that hole and create a sketch. Now let's use our circle diameter circle to create the actual blackout light. And it's about this big. And let's just move this up. We'll select the center. Let's pull this. Now we're going to select the profile and press pull. And we're just going to pull it outwards. And this is fine. It doesn't peek past this area. So let's set it to new body. Hit OK. Now let's hit F to go into fillet mode after selecting the surface so we can round off this entire, entire ring here. So let's just pull this in. That looks fine. We don't, we don't want too much. Let's create a surface once again. And let's grab our two point rectangle tool and we're just uh, create a giant rectangle right through the middle. Now we can just press pull this surface and this will be the cap to the blackout lights. And ensure it's on join and hit OK. Now we can hit F to enter fillet mode and we'll just round off this top and bottom. We get that nice round shape so we can spin the top off. Let's hit fillet one more time so we can grab these edges on the outside so we can get that nice bevel in between. Let's hit fill it one more time and we'll just round off these edges here so it looks nice and smooth. Well, that's great. Now let's create the headlight. So we'll select this surface here and go to create sketch. Let's grab that circle down with a circle and we'll just create a circle right here. That looks perfect. So let's right click and finalize this. Now let's shift select all of three of these profiles. So one, two, and you can hold the left mouse button to select this profile. Now let's right click so we can press pull this. And we're going to pull it forward as well. So something around here, change it to new body and I said OK. 
and let's hit F to go into fillet mold and this is softly round off this edge here. So this looks that looks fine. Let's hit OK. And let's reselect this surface and create another sketch. Now let's finish sketch. That just gave us a profile that we can press pull on to extrude. And let's set that to join, hit OK. And let's hit F to go in fillet mode so we can round off this for the bulb shape. And let's hit OK. Now we can go to the Create drop down and select Pipe. And I want to grab this edge here. And this is going to help create the separation between the cast and the bulb. Let's start working on some of the detail behind the slot. So let's select the surface and create a sketch. Now let's use that two point rectangle. And from this center line here to behind the last slot, we'll create a giant rectangle. And let's right click, hit OK, and let's select these profiles. So we can press pull this. And I want to press pull this in two directions. One forward, so we'll slide this forward. Let's change it from cut to new body. And let's change it from one sided to two sides so we can pull this back as well. And let's hit OK. Now I think it's a good time to press pull this a bit further because that looks like it's too close. Let's hit OK. That looks great. Now, over here in the layers, we're going to uh, duplicate this body so we can uh, cut this from the main body. So we'll go to uh, turn off this original. We'll go to combine. We'll select this surface here and we'll combine it with this body. So let's select this, select this body, ensure it's on cut. Now let's turn this body back on and we're gonna duplicate this once more so we can uh, combine and uh, remove the upper body. So let's go to uh, combine, let's select this top area now and for the uh, cutting body will be the other duplicate. Now let's turn back on the original uh, body. And we can now go to the layers and right click and select isolate. And let's select this surface and create a sketch. Now we can use the offset tool to offset this uh, perimeter of the rectangle and downscale this. We want it just a little bit smaller than the original. And this looks great. So we can hit OK. And we can just uh, grab our line tool and draw horizontal lines from each of the corners. Now we can select these profiles and we can right click and press pull. And we want to press pull this to give it some depth. So we're going to just pull it to about halfway through. Hit OK. Now we can select this side panel here and create a sketch. And let's grab our circle diameter circle and just draw from this corner a nice little uh, circle or half a circle. We'll hit OK and we'll just uh, create a pattern and we'll just pattern this down this line. We'll just go all the way to the end. I want to change the quantity from three as well. So let's just change this to something like this. And hit OK. And I want to select each of these profiles so I can pull them at the same time to the end of this uh, shape. So we'll just pull it to here and set it to join and hit OK. Now we can uh, unisolate this. Now we have that detail and this looks fantastic. So we can hit F to go into fillet mode and let's just round this off a bit so it looks more realistic. This looks fantastic. So let's hit OK and uh, let's select this surface here and create a sketch. Hopefully I don't lose any one right now. This is going to be a reference. So let's grab our uh, three point arc here. And from somewhere around the bottom of this area, we're gonna select this and select one more time around this area. And we're just gonna bend this shape. And we're gonna grab uh, another point here. And let's go directly straight ahead. Let's bend this a bit. Now we'll grab our line tool to close this off. So what we just did was select this profile and this profile. And we're gonna press pull these both at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing, but this is gonna be a reference for something else. And that looks great. So let's change it from cut to new body. 
Now we can go to uh, fillet mode. So go ahead F really quick. We'll just fill it off this. So once we create a pipe, that doesn't interfere. So let's go to create pipe and grab this inner line here. We're just gonna go to create a pipe from this point. So let's make it a bit bigger. Let's change it from join to new body. And now we can remove this reference piece that I used to create that. Now we can right click on this uh, pipe we created and go to move at the top. And let's go to uh, the pivot button here and let's just select the top face of the pipe and we're going to reselect the pivot button. Now we can actually use this widget so we can change the angle of it so it's not going through the model or hanging off of it. It's following it. Now we can uh, hit F to go into fillet mode and we'll just round off the edge of this pipe so no one gets hurt. Now let's right click on this layer and move this back a bit so it doesn't look awkwardly placed. Now I want to select this and press pull this to give it some more uh, thickness because I'm looking at the reference and it's not that thin. That's it okay. Now we can select this surface here and go to create sketch. And let's use our line tool and we'll just draw a line going vertical. So it's a straight up and down line. Now we can go to modify split body and we're going to grab the pipe for the body and for the tool will be that line we just created. Now we can remove this access uh, body that we don't need anymore. Now let's select the edge of that pipe and create a sketch. Now let's finish sketch. And that gave us some geometry that we can just pull so it'll go straight. And that's why we split this so it's not at an angle anymore. Let's change it from cut to new body. And let's go to modify combine. We're going to combine these two bodies together. Let's hit OK. Now we can uh, go to create sketch on this surface. And I'm going to draw another line. And we're going to draw another vertical line. And we're going to follow the same thing we did before. We're going to just uh, split body. So go to modify, split body. Select the body and the splitting tool will be that line we just created. Now, instead of deleting that, we're just going to press pull this. So we're going to pull it to give it some thickness. This looks great. Let's hit OK. And let's go to the side. And let's just right click and pull this. Something around here. Now we can start combining this to the main body. So go to combine. Select the main body. Now select these two pipes. Hit join and hit OK. Now let's hit after going to fillet mode. And we're going to grab this edge and this bottom edge and just round these off. Now you get some nice shape right there. Let's hit OK. And we'll hit F to go back into fillet mode. And we'll just grab these edges on the side and pull this in to give it some, some thickness.